everybody. I made this template up based upon an idea of an old school baseball card. So like here's a Frank Robinson baseball card over here on the left. So uh, this blue side here is my front cover here of or my front side of my baseball card. And this yellow area here is my back side of my baseball card. And if I'm making a, something about a world leader, I chose Genghis Khan here as my example. Um, but we can look at the front side of the card. We have a big picture. Um, and we can play around with what kind of texts and things that kind of call outs and how we color the names. There's a lot of changes that you can make to make it yours. Um, but this is just kind of giving you some structure to get moving. Um, on the right side here, this is the back side of the card. So when you're comparing that to the old card versus this card, you can think about what types of facts and stats you might want to research. If there's a quote that you might want to put in under there, um, what type of information you might want to include about your a particular thing. Because, I mean, Frank Robinson was an outfielder and Genghis Khan here was a, um, well, he ruled over China. So they don't have a, lot, a whole lot in common, but you might be able to figure out how you want to put those ideas together. Um, also, you might think, well, maybe I can find some maps or interesting pics about that particular uh, thing and maybe do some writing about that below. Um, to use it, all you really need to do is look at these instructions over here. They explain how to replace images. So I've got this picture of Genghis Khan. I can right click on that and then go down to replace image. And if I hit search the web, it brings up Google images here. And these have images that you have, um, you want to make sure that you are using images that you have permission to use. So in this case, if I'm looking for an image, um, I might want to change this to a different particular person. So um, maybe I'm looking for Marie Antoinette. All right, French Revolution. All right. So maybe if I want to change this around, I can find an image here and I could just hit the replace button at the bottom of the screen. All right. You can also hit the crop button at the top of the screen to change that positioning or how big the image is. So then, uh, so it's bringing these black handles up. I can also um, use the blue handles to make the picture bigger or smaller. So maybe I want to go tighter on the face or something. All right. Um, Obviously, you can change text, you can remove that call out, you can put in different call outs, you can even insert different pictures into other shapes. So if I had a, another picture, so let's just say where the baseball card I've got down here. If I wanted to mask out that particular image, I can press the mask image button here to the side. And I could pick a different type of shape that I want that baseball card to, to fit into. So maybe I just want that the um the cartoon bubble here all right i can change the point of where the cartoon bubble goes and all kinds of other things not saying i'm going to do the, use that particular option but you can do that with pretty much any picture you can import all right command z goes backwards or control z goes backwards just like anything else so there's my quick tutorial on getting started with this template obviously you can make all kinds of different changes to the template. And I'm just resetting it back to where it was. I um, hope this helps you in getting started making your trading card for your uh, world leader. Thanks so much.